Hello, in this video I am going to show you the new features in the version 68 update for Oculus. So this is for Quest 2, for Quest 3 and Quest Pro. I'll be using Quest Pro. There will be some Quest 3 features only, which I will specifically state that they are Quest 3. First of all, you know, with this comes the new Meta Horizon app. This is not a new app on top of the Meta Quest app. It's the MetaQuest app that they've rebranded. It's called Meta Horizon and it's got a new logo. Prefer the old logo. There's a lot of people moaning about the name change. I'm not that bothered by the name change. If anything, I prefer it not because of the word Horizon in there, but it takes the word Quest out of it. And that opened the possibility of having, because, you know, it allowed the support for, you know, Rift devices, which they seem to have kind of just abandoned now. But if they do have other devices in the future that aren't Quest devices, this makes more sense. And, you know, with the introduction of the Meta Horizon OS, which is, again, what they're rebranding their operating, their virtual reality operating system to, they are also opening that up for other manufacturers as well. So we might have devices not from Facebook or, or you know, Meta, you might get one from Google, you might get one from Samsung, and it has Meta Horizon OS, and that makes a lot more sense with their Meta Horizon rebrand. Hopefully they keep their headsets called, you know, Meta Quest, for example. I don't want them to, you know, rename them. So let's just get into the app. So this is the new application. You know, a lot of the same stuff that we, you know, know and love from before. One of the new things is a light mode. So if you go to your profile, go to the three dots or the three lines in the top right, go to here, say the light mode is here, click that. And I've got a system default, but you can force the light mode. And this is what it looks like. So for a long time, it only had the dark mode. And that wasn't something that everybody wanted. I think a lot of people do prefer it, but some people do prefer the dark mode. I mean, the light mode as well. So that's the new application. I'm going to now cover the various updates to the headset itself. So let's switch over. As this is not out yet, the Meta Horizon OS, so I'm going to hand it over to, you know, the man himself, Mark Zuckerberg, with an official clip from them to, you know, fully expand on what this Meta Horizon OS is going to be. Hey, this is on. All right, some updates on the Metaverse today. Uh, we are releasing Meta Horizon OS, our operating system that powers Quest virtual and mixed reality headsets. And we are partnering with some of the best hardware companies out there to design new headsets that are optimized for all the different ways that people use this tech. Now, in every era of computing, uh, there are always open and closed models. And with phones, Apple's closed model basically won out. Phones are tightly controlled, and you're kind of locked into what they'll let you do. But it doesn't have to be that way. Uh, in the PC era, the open model won out. You can do a lot more things, install mods, you've got more diversity of hardware, software, and more. Uh, so our goal is to make it so that the open model defines the next generation of computing, again, with the metaverse, glasses, and headsets. So that's why we're releasing our operating system so that more companies can build different things on it. We've been building Meta Horizon OS for about a decade. Uh, we started building it off Android, and while it's still compatible, we've now built it into a much broader and more capable mixed reality and spatial computing OS. The key ideas behind Meta Horizon OS are a feeling of presence with people no matter where you physically are, bringing digital objects like huge screens into your physical space, uh, navigating and interacting with virtual spaces, and supporting developers and creators and you know, building all these new apps and experiences. You can do all this on Quest today, but now we're also working with Lenovo, Asus ROG, Xbox, and more to build headsets that are gonna be designed for specific use cases. So you can imagine a lightweight headset that pairs with your computer on your desk uh, to provide the best work experience, whether you're at home or anywhere else you go. Um, or you can imagine one that's fully focused on watching immersive entertainment like movies and videos with the highest resolution OLED screens. Uh, or you know, think of one that's fully optimized for gaming with support for all kinds of different peripherals and haptics. Um, you can imagine one that's designed for exercise that's extra light with sweat wicking materials, um, you know, or, or maybe just a version that 
comes out of the box with Xbox controllers and a Game Pass so that you can immediately just start playing on a big screen anywhere you go. Um, we're also, as part of this, gonna be opening up our store uh, to give you even more options to use whatever experiences you want. So whether they're on Steam, Xbox, Cloud Gaming, our own App Lab, um, or even Google Play, if they're up for it, our philosophy is that we want you to be able to run the content on Quest or any Meta Horizon operating system headset. Uh, all right, so opening ROS, that's the next step in bringing all these different use cases of the metaverse to everyone. Um, it's probably gonna take a couple of years for some of these new products to start launching, but I'm really excited to get started on this next chapter and to get this into your hands as soon as possible. Meta AI, not available yet, I can't use it. So I'm going to hand it over again to the official you know, meta video to explain what the meta AI is and we'll be able to actually see, you know, a bit of it as well. What's up everybody, it's your boy Anthony Hamilton Jr. and I'm about to test the early versions of meta AI on Quest. Let's go check it out. What do you see in front of me? I see a dog, lounge chairs, and an umbrella on a deck in front of you. <laughs> they see you, Callie. Can you give me a local place to go play basketball in Palm Springs? A nearby place to play basketball is Ruth Hardy Park. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Have a great time playing basketball. Can you find some color t-shirts that would go with these shorts? You can pair these shorts with a variety of colors such as white, black, gray, or even pastel shades. Thank you. Now that you guys saw these new features, let me know which one you would want to try the most. Let me know in the comments. As I recorded in this video, the layout app did not appear for me. For some people, you can install it via the Meta Horizon application on your phone. It didn't, it, you know, I couldn't do that either. So to show you, I got the clip from the official Meta, you know, video for the version 68 update, but I'll just show you the layout app and everything that obviously that I've discussed in this video, but haven't been able to show you, as I know a lot of people don't have access to it yet, I'll be creating more videos as the features do come available, especially for me. V68 is here and this is everything you need to know. First up, we have Layout. It's a utility app that helps you visualize real world items in your physical space. You have access to tools to measure furniture or make sure your artwork and picture frames are level. Okay, so moving on to some of the features on the headset as well. So a lot of these features aren't available yet, even though I've got the version 68 update, they'll be slowly rolling out. So for starters, the update will slowly be rolling out and then the actual features, sometimes they'll be kind of, I guess, popping in and, you know, slow roll out, I guess, over the upcoming days and weeks. I'll show you where some of the features you know, will be. So the first is library improvement. So if I go to my library and what you'll see, there's application, there's also a world section as well. So we have a little bit, you know, a little tab for worlds. But what you're also going to do have soon is like an or tab, and uh, you know, that'll show you, you know, everything that you have, but you'll also have a tab for you know downloads as well so right now that's not there you know, we've got a bit of filtering here but we are gonna have more tabs as well so it's gonna provide a lot more sort of you know usability within the library so next thing is cloud backup again this right now isn't available so I mean cloud backup is well let me go to settings so this is where you'll find it then you go to system you go to backup right now this is what it's going to look like just cloud backup but if you have the feature on there it'll allow you to customize the backup so you'll be able to select okay i want this app to backup i don't want this to backup so they'll provide a lot more granularity of what you are doing with the backup which i think is you know really required next is content adaptive brightness so if I, what, where you'll find this when it's available, is it's gonna be initially an experimental feature. And what we'll have is a bright, so content adaptive brightness, similar to what a lot of TVs do right now, where brightness will, you know, go up and down the contrast will depending on the scene in the game, for example. So if you're in a dark scene, contrast will change. So it's more pleasing to the eye and provides a better experience again that will be rolling out soon next is controller pairing you can now do that in your headset so again you want to go to settings devices and controllers here you have an option to literally pair your controller right now it's not available for a lot of users 
but it will be soon. Before, you had to use the mobile application. That was the case for many years. And, you know, it's a bit annoying when, you know, everything was set up. You know, maybe you bought a new controller or whatever, whatever, and you just want to map it. And now you don't have to, you know, use the mobile application for, like, there was a huge reliance on the mobile application. And I felt like, you know, it's called, you know, Meta Horizon app now instead of Meta Quest app. But I feel like it was great to have the functionality on the app. But to have it solely on the app and not on the headset itself was a huge oversight. Next is audio input balance. So if I go to system, go to camera again, this is not available as it sits. But in audio input levels, what you'll see is two different levels. And you'll have like a microphone level. And also I think you see what's it called, the, you know, the gameplay, the input level as well. Uh, you know the headset level and you'll be able to change it so if you want your mic louder but you want the actual volume of the headset quieter you can do but if you want it the other way around where you mainly want the gameplay to be you know or you know audibly present but you want your voice in there as well you can tweak those levels so i think that's you know again a much needed improvement and now I'm going to just switch over and I'll explain the remaining features as well. And now the remaining updates in version 68 for the Quest devices. So the performance boost for open XR applications. So, you know, we should see, you know, lower latency and improved frame rates as well. So that's something that we'll be rolling out. Screen shot resolution improvement as well so instead of 1440 by 1440 it is now 2160 by 2160 bear in mind this is for oculus quest 3 only so if you've got a quest 2 or a quest pro like me you know you know no look i feel like it might come later on because you know with side quest you can do all sorts of crazy stuff so i feel like the feature might come or they might just leave it for now as a feature for the latest headset and kind of an it's not much of an incentive but an incentive to get the headset next is low battery alert and what that means is when you take your headset off you're going to put it down it will literally give you an audible cue that the battery is low which is really good which is really nice because you might just put it there you might not you know you know no you might not have had a look at the battery and you'll get that cue i hope you can turn this off or turn it down uh, and maybe even set the i doubt you're going to be able to do this straight away but set when it gets triggered you might only want to know when it's like less than 10 percent. somebody might want to know when it's less than 50 percent, because i can imagine especially if it's going off and you know let's say you use it it's going off so it's pretty loud you might not want it to be that loud or it to be you know on at all because you might be in a situation where you're literally using it because you're trying to be quiet maybe you've got a kid or a baby and they're sleeping but you're in the room and you don't want them to get disturbed last thing you want to do especially anyone that has babies has children knows they can get you know, disturbed or over like small sounds sometimes you don't want to put it down and go beep like if you could customize it, that would be great. I feel like they won't straight away. That's usually the way of things. But if you can at least turn it off, that would be great. Okay, keyboard improvements as well. So there's going to be a bunch of keyboard improvements. Can't really show you and right now. I don't have them, but I've got like the official, uh, you know, list. So it's when you start a search or chat, the keyboard will appear in a more optimal position and won't overlap with all the screens, which is good. Uh, you can easily reposition the keyboard in your space, bring it closer, or move it to the side again. Uh, you know, a much needed addition the keyboard will reappear in different uh, you know different default locations based on what you were last doing and where you last position it again you know having some sort of context of what you last did is also fantastic as well and then there's some safety center updates these are the final updates for version 68 you know you know they don't really mean much you know to me it's, it's just, this, this is the official you know text experience streamlined account management and clearer communication about your profile status and any reported issues from the meta horizon mobile app these experiences will be consistent with what you already do in your headset so from what i gather is you know the sort of experience that you had in your headset around the safety center you're going to be able to get that from the mobile application now so it's funny because you're getting some mobile application only features like being able to pair a controller or you know the you know the yeah the controllers in the headset you also gain some headset only features like the safety center stuff in now in the mobile application 
which is fantastic because you don't want to be going onto your headset for something safety sensor related you know the convenience of using the mobile application is a lot better so that's the version 68 update uh well you know as i get these features to actually fully test out i'll be creating more videos and when version 69 comes out obviously i'll be creating a video for that as well so stay tuned if there's anything more you want to see just comment down in the description below and i'll be actually creating a little side quest video as well very very soon so stay tuned for that take care bye